Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are bringing you the best glass screen protector for the Galaxy Note 9. And I really fell in love with this company last time around with the S9. And it is the Dome Glass by Whitestone. It really is a high tech screen protector. It really reduces the fingerprints, which I'm really big on. Anything to reduce fingerprints, I'm big on. It covers all the way to the screen, so not like a lot of these other ones that don't do a good job. And it has a better adhesive, in my opinion, so that it stays on very well. Now, the one thing I want to make sure you guys know about before you put a screen protector on the Note is to make sure that in settings, under advanced features, you swipe all the way down and make sure your touchscreen sensitivity is on. That will allow you for a much better experience overall when using a screen protector. Now, before we show you what's in the box, I do wanna let you know we are going to have discount codes in the description. Hey guys, so you just heard me mention coupon codes. Whitestone actually decided to be extra generous and give us five coupon codes for 99% off of the screen protector. It's a really great one, wait till the end of the video to see. However, here's how we're gonna do it. Give a like, thumbs up, leave a comment. After 24 hours, I'm gonna give five random viewers that left a comment a coupon code for 99% off the screen protector. It's Amazon US only, but trust me, it's definitely worth it. So, now back to the video. If you do get a screen protector for this phone, I do recommend this. I, it's the only one I really use now on my phones. Just like the quality. All right, now, if you do know about me, you know I have a hard time with screen protectors. But let's see what's in the box and hopefully I will do this correctly. Okay guys, so this is what's in the box. So there's a lot here. Like I said, this is a very sophisticated process. First thing you're gonna wanna do is scan that QR code to get the instructional video on how to do this. But basically what you do is you are going to first use a bunch of the stuff in here, which is a dust removal, which is a, uh, alcohol wipes, you're going to use this for like a credit card part where you kind of really put it on there and get the bubbles out. Your cleaning cloth, dry cleaning cloth, and wet cloth. So you have all of these different things on how to uh, have it perfectly. You're gonna have this to block off the speaker part uh, when you're doing this kind of stuff. You have your UV uh, placement, which basically you're going to leave on. This basically makes it so that it really sticks well after you install it. Um, it's, it's just awesome that you have this. So yeah, basically this is going to be at the end and then you're going to put it in here for the whole process. So basically this covers, uh, one of these will cover your, um, speaker right here. So you have that covered. You have, uh, this gel adhesive that you put in this bridge thing. So the bridge thing, I don't think I could take it out yet. I'm going to follow the steps basically goes in here and here and it puts a solution on the smartphone so that that solution is gonna be across your entire phone. Then you put the screen protector on there. It's a really cool process, but it is complex. So I'm going to watch the video, install this and show you how well it works. And then even put a case on there to make sure that you guys know that it does work even with cases. Cause that's one of the big problems with screen protectors. So let's get started and figure this all out.
Okay guys, so it is now on. Hopefully you followed along with that. I literally just looked at the instructions on this shade, but again, I love the UV at the end. And the thing I love about the screen protector so much, it's the only screen protector that even I can't get air bubbles on. It, the instructions are very clear, it's awesome, it's super clean, and it just, it, it goes on there perfectly. Like there's, there's not really a way you can mess this up, which I just love, because again, I'm not a screen protector person in terms of putting it on there. And you can see, you still have those edges so that you can put a case and it won't pop out because of that adhesive that you saw, that liquid that we put on there. And overall, this just makes it so you really have the protection all around the screen, but again, still letting you put the case on so it should cover it up. Now, I will say that it feels just as good as it, I remember from the S9 uh, Plus, but let's see how the pen works because that's a really big thing for me. So let's go ahead and just say, feels good. Feels just as smooth. There is a little bit of a more resistance, like you would put a little bit more pressure, but all in all, it feels really good uh, in terms of everything. So yeah, and, and smooth in terms of like writing across it right now. Let's see, is there any lines after doing that? No, some fingerprints still. But again, way less fingerprint in terms of what you would get normally. Like if I do fingerprint on the pack compared to this, oh my God. Uh, but so the fingerprints are less, which I do like. And of course you got a bunch of little cleaning cloths that came with it. I really need to clean this pack. It keeps getting dirty. Uh, but overall, really nice looking on here. I just really like the way that again, it just fits perfectly. Now, since we tried the S Pen and it worked great, it felt great on there. Of course, we have to do one more test and that is find a case, put it on and see if it does feel perfect with it. So let's go ahead and try that. All right, now we have our case on here just so you can see and it really does not mess with it at all. So as you can see, this case doesn't even touch the glass, which is perfect all around just because that way it won't have that pop-up factor that a lot of other screen protectors do. Now, again, there, there is some give on here, but I actually like that because that means for me, I switch cases so often and the fact that it's such has such a variety that I could probably put cases on here without damaging the screen protector at all, I like it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Again, this feels a really amazing. And as a person that does not know how to put screen protectors on, well, I have never failed at this one. So really like it, feels really good, and it protects your smartphone. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Again, I'm a big fan of the dome glass screen protectors from Whitestone. Please go ahead and get your discount code right now in the description. And yeah, guys, I am loving the way this looks. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.